gonna stop at that loves that i originally talked about i gotta talk fast because my phone my gopro is gonna die but uh that loves has terrible phone service i think there's a prison nearby i stopped there last time like a long time ago yeah the prison's right there no phone signal so like he can't load anything and last night i already had to deal with no phone service and it's not bad to just go to sleep and wake up but i want to see the chiefs play tonight so i'm gonna try to get through st louis and um stop at a petra on the other side so we woke up just a little late today i wanted to wake up at 8 30 but i woke up at 10. um and we're headed to Colorado. I don't think we can make it there today, but we got 744 miles left on our delivery. And so uh, that's just about 11, I wanna say probably 13 hours of driving. So between today and tomorrow, we gotta drive 13 hours. So I'll probably drive eight or nine hours today and then call it a day and then have like four or five hours to go tomorrow. So yeah, that's the game plan and uh gotta try to stop at a loves for a 34 so it's just cheaper free soda waters and better deals than like ta you know so so i just stopped at the petra that i always stop at when i go on home time they have a wendy's in there i go inside and uh <clears throat> there's probably like 20 to 30 people in there like sitting with no food so i'm like oh here we go walk up to the register because i only have cash right now walk up to the register and i try to order she's like we're not taking any orders right now we're trying to get caught up on the ones that we have and i'm like are you kidding me like i understand it's but it's lunchtime like you guys should be ready and on your game there's like nine people back there working like so I'm just like, there's like a lady that's like bagging everything and she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. And I'm just like, she's like, just a couple minutes and then we'll take your order. I'm like, nah, fuck this, I'm leaving. So I left. So I don't know, there's a Popeyes across the street, but it's in a TA. I have a Popeyes gift card for like 20 bucks, but I don't know if they'll take it, but I guess I'm gonna go see because Kansas City's like right there. And for the next 60 miles, there's not a single spot that I'm gonna be able to stop at and get food and I wanted to stop like 60 miles before I got here to get something to eat but I was just like oh I'll just go to Wendy's and get a biggie bag for five bucks but no no not gonna happen so I'm just gonna see if I can get on over to uh the Popeyes and they take gift cards but who knows maybe Popeyes is slammed too I hope not I really hope not I just want to get my food and eat dude I'm so hungry I'm hangry right now Actually, like that pissed me off because I'm like so hungry because I ate dinner at like nine o'clock or not nine like five o'clock last night And I haven't ate anything since So I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, but it was really windy in Kansas City. So I called Cornell I was like, hey, dude, like because I know like the further west of Kansas City It's just kind of like I mean, it's a little bit hilly, but like you can see here. It's just kind of like flat right and so like the wind was so strong yesterday and i called him and i know i'm light i got like six thousand pounds worth of paper cups in the trailer and he's like yeah dude it's shown like 40 50 mile an hour gusts of wind he's like i wouldn't advise it so i was in kansas city i shut down for the night and then i went home and slept at home and uh now i'm back but i go back home wednesday so it's not really that big of a deal but it was nice to stop home even if it was for night like 19 hours I think I was at home so yeah but we're on the road here we got 474 miles to our delivery I don't know how far we're gonna make it because I don't even know I'm gonna be able to get a 34 in but I think the loves that I was planning on stopping at I don't think I can make it now because by the time I get there it's gonna be full so I mean I could always just stop early today and go because I only got to go to Wednesday next week so 474 miles is about eight hours so that leaves me 21 hours to get back to Kansas City on Monday. That should be more than enough. As long as they can get me a load straight to Kansas City. But, you know, I don't think they're going to get me, like, super far anyways. Like, maybe they give me a load to Omaha and then to Kansas City or something like that. You know, but I don't think I'll work more than 21 hours in two and a half days. So, yeah, I think, I don't even think it's possible for me to do a 34. All right, guys, so we're backing in here. Um. 
home. I woke up at 2.30 this morning to make it here on time. <laughs> I was still like 10 minutes late, but I went to bed at like, I woke up at like 10 a.m. yesterday and then I went to bed at like, um, I need to slide it over more this way. But then I went to bed at like, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and get out and open everything. I went to bed at like, uh, I don't even remember. I think I passed out around like 6 p.m. And uh, yeah, I get here and like, most places don't really enforce a safety vest. They have signs and stuff. And I get inside and she's like, you gotta have your safety vest. I'm like, oh my goodness. So, I had to do that, I had to run back out. There's like nothing in there. She also said there's gonna be a lumper fee, which it's really early, which I think Cornell just got into work. So I'll probably call him and let him know. Hopefully I can. I gotta slide my tandems and disconnect my red line. But I'm gonna I was gonna wait, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Since it's pretty much a straight back. And then I'll give Cornell a call because he should be in work. It's it's 650 back home, but it's only 550 here, so I hate lumber fees, dude. I just glad I'm not the one paying them. I can get another load pretty soon after this one. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a call and let him know. It shouldn't take too long. It didn't look like there's very many pallets. So we got offloaded, but there was lumper fees, so it took forever to get processed. We're just waiting for a two hour split here to kick in. So once this total shift jumps up, I can roll. Cause it was like an hour and 57 minutes cause the lumper took like half an hour to, it only took like 20 minutes to get unloaded, but to get like the lumper fee and everything sorted, it took like an extra hour. So uh, we're just waiting for this to jump up here. It should take less than, no more than just a couple more seconds. And then I got to pick up in 14 miles at Anheuser-Busch. Hopefully they take less than two hours because I've been up, there we go. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. So be good to be done early today and not shutting down at eight o'clock or whatever. So let's make this turn here. This is what I was saying though. It was, it was worse this morning it's not as bad now. Um, there's like a whole bunch of trucks parked here on this road. But they're all gone now. So we're headed over to pick up our next load. And then, um, yeah, go to Nebraska. And then hopefully from there they can give me a load to Kansas City, which I have a hard time believing because last time they had me in that area, it took a whole nother day to get another load. I can't see with the sun, bro. God. Ugh. And Anheuser-Busch, you, you scale in and you, they make you say that you have at least half a tank, but I got like three eighths, which it's a little more than three eighths. So I think that I'll be fine because three eighths of a tank should get me close to my delivery anyways. So, and even if I get low and then have to fill back up, I'll just fill it back up to three eighths. I'm not that worried about it. It'd be different if it was like a thousand mile run, but I don't really want to drive an extra 22 miles. So we're just gonna go pick it up like this. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go to this loves here. It's been a 12 hour day, a little bit over 12 hours, actually. 
like 12 hours and 15 minutes. I'm ready to call it quits. <laughs> I've been up since 3.30 Central Time. I got up at 2.30 Eastern or Mountain. So we're gonna try to find parking at this Loves and be done for the day. It looks pretty full, but it's only three o'clock. So I don't think I should have anything to worry about. I hope not. Oh, I see a spot. I was gonna say, dude, if it's already packed, that sucks. There's a lot of homeless people in Nebraska. Every truck stop I go by in Nebraska, there's always someone on the corner asking for money. You don't think it would be in um, Nebraska, but I guess it is, because the one in Grand Island, that time I left after I got Arby's, there was a guy asking for money. So we're gonna try to find something sort of close, not like all the way up, but close enough, you know, something decent. It's early after all, shouldn't have to park too far back. Oh my gosh, I forgot my engine brake was on. There's another GP here. All right, let's see what we can see. Bobtail. Bobtail parking. I think I'm gonna try for this one here next to this prime. Maybe. Is that even possible? It should be. There's a Steeler semi truck. Heck yeah, buddy. Give it a little bit of left here. Some more left. Hard left here. Ugh. I hope I didn't just take off that prime truck's mirror. I did not like the feeling of that. I think I did. There's a lot of room. I think I might be good here. Just getting close. I think there's another pole. Let me see. Nope. There's a lot of room. I don't know why I was so worried about that mirror. Do a post trip and call her a day. Good morning, guys. We've been up since 6 30. Um, just down the road from our delivery. We're supposed to be there at 9. It's 8 55. We 
got three miles, so we should be fine. Looks like this light's gonna turn red on us. Uh, it's kind of a crazy day though. My load going home picks up at 9 p.m. tonight. So I'm gonna try to go back to the loves I shut down at yesterday and then get some sleep because I gotta deliver it at 8 a.m. in Kansas City, which is crazy. You know, I mean, it's not that far of a drive. Kansas City from Omaha, from here is probably like 400 miles, maybe less, but it's still like kind of, kind of crazy. So I've never picked up a load at 9 p.m. Here, I may have SCFI, I don't remember, but I don't think I have a GP, so hopefully it goes good. And they, I read the reviews online and everyone's like, playing on sitting here for 10 hours, dude, if that actually happens, that's gonna suck. Especially if my delivery won't accept it, because tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'm not waiting till Thursday. I got plans and my home time's short again, so just have to unhook from it at the pilot or the Petro and have someone else come get it because I'm going home. Especially if I'm picking it up at 9 p.m. and they want me that. Oh, dude, if they take forever to load it, I'm not going to be happy because it's already like, I'm hoping I can get like a one or two hour nap in. What a joke. It took three and a half hours to unload this load and I only thought it was going to take like 20 minutes. So now we got to go all the way back to the loves we were at last night, which is two hours away. And then after we get there, then we gotta do a seven hour split. So whenever, which I gotta get fuel too. I have less than an eighth of a tank. God damn, there's no loves. Hopefully an eighth of a tank's enough to make it. Cause I don't have time to be screwing around in anywhere else. We're gonna try it. And then I gotta get fuel as soon as I get to that loves. And we should be getting good fuel mileage. So we might be all right. We should be getting about 10 miles a gallon. And then, um, seven hour split go get loaded hopefully they don't take very long and then i gotta try to drive as far as i can shut down do a three hour get all my hours back i think and then try to make the delivery before 1 p.m tomorrow but it's appointment only so we're just gonna have to see what we can do i don't know uh, yada 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 Sorry, car, I'm going. I see you, but you can get over a lane if you don't want to get slowed down by me. Well, I'm going to call this a success. <laughs> um, so we woke up at 6.30 this morning, and then um, we got back to that truck stop about 2 o'clock, and then I ate lunch and got a shower, and I think I went to sleep about 4.35, and then I woke up at 9.30. So I got like four hours of sleep. I get to the shipper, they take about an hour and a half. And so I just sat there and I thought like, this place isn't busy, like I'm the only person here. And I asked the guy, I'm like, is anyone else coming? He's like, no. And I was like, cool. So it's literally seven hour drive, right? Like six hours and 42 minutes, okay? And my appointment's at 8 a.m. It's currently 1.10 in the morning. So if I drive this straight, I should be pulling in about 7.50, 7.55, which is absolutely perfect. Now, it is absolutely insane that I woke up at 6.30 and then I'm on four hours of sleep and I'm gonna drive through the night, but I'm going home. So there's motivation there. If I was just working, bro, there's no way. I'll be like, yeah, dude, there's no way. Like, that's that's ridiculous. Like, because it is really stupid. Like, I had to go deliver at 9 a.m., which I had to wake up at 6.30 to get there. But if I don't deliver today, then my only option is to deliver Thursday. So today's Wednesday. And I'm like, you know what? We're going to do it. So we are headed to Kansas City. We are going to stop here in about... 120 miles. I got some fuel because we were like at an eighth of a tank, but I didn't want to take up too much time. There's some deer right there. Don't come out, buddy. That would have been really bad. But I didn't want to take up too much time because I wanted to get there and make sure I got loaded. So I only got half a tank and I didn't fill up on any death. But we're going to go to Love's down the road. And plus, when we get there, it'll be like 3 30 in the morning. So no one is really going to be getting fuel. And I'll probably get like a snack at a Red Bull because the only thing I ate today was 
a quarter pounder and a 10 piece nugget. I ate a little bit bigger. Normally I'm getting the double cheese and the six piece because it's cheaper by like a dollar. But I went and got a Big Mac. I had a Big Mac and a 10 piece nugget for lunch. And so that's all I ate today, which is still like 1200 calories or whatever. But it's not really, you know, this is almost two days now because I ate at like two. So I, I ate as soon as I got stopped. And then I like watched YouTube for an hour and I was trying to debate if I wanted a shower. And then I went and got a shower. So, but yeah, we're about to get on, I think this is 80. And then we're gonna get to Lincoln. Yeah, I think we take 680 to Lincoln and then Highway 34 and then I-29. And then we'll get on 435 to get south of Kansas City and then deliver. Now, I do have quite a few hours. I just got like almost all of them back. So we should be fine. I was kind of worried before because I only thought I was gonna get like four hours back, but I actually got like 10 hours or not 10 hours, but I got like eight hours. I was kind of worried that if this receiver takes too long that I wouldn't have enough hours to get to the truck stop to shut down on home time and I'd have to stay at the receiver for like seven hours, which really doesn't matter because my parents don't get off till five and it's literally like 45 minute drive across Kansas City. And then Saturday, we're moving out the Iowa house because my dad lives in Kansas City full time now and they're getting ready to sell it. So I will be driving a U-Haul with a car trailer behind it with my dad's Cutlass on it. Oh, that didn't sound good. I hope they stack, it sounded like something fell, dude. That's on them though, because if they like put a space in the middle, like I'd much rather have a load where it's like, I don't know, I don't really see the walls bowed out, so it must have fell in if anything fell. I should have strapped it. I left straps back there. So, and I'm not doing any returns. If like something's broken and they want me to bring it back here, they're gonna have to wait till I get off home time because after I make my delivery, I'm going home. I, <laughs> I put it too much deal in work tonight. Is this place open? I hope it's closed because I should have scaled, but I was just gonna wait till I, I think it's closed. It's just like super close together. So yeah, it's closed. But yeah, so we're rolling here and it's gonna be a couple hours till we get to the next truck stop, but I'll get top up on fuel and grab a bite to eat and just weigh the truck. I probably should weigh before I even get fuel because I don't, know, I don't actually think there's anything to worry about though because it's only like 36,000. So I think I can have my tandems all the way up. I honestly thought once I left CFI, I would never come back to this area, but uh, it's not the same place that I used to pick up at but it is the it's like right next to it like literally right next to it which is so weird um because i picked up a couple loads out of this place over here the place next to it is like all wonky i don't know if you guys remembered but they would like check in your trailer and then have you drop <coughs> <coughs> drop it see there's Arlen express at the building i'm talking about but we're delivering to this one right here I'm hoping they'll take me. I'm 35 minutes late, but dude, like I said, I literally drove as far as I could last night, pretty much. I mean, I stopped to get a Red Bull and then, yeah, but it doesn't even look like there's anybody like in the docks. So I don't see where this is gonna be an issue. So my appointment was 8 a.m. like I said, and it's supposed to be appointment only, but no one's in the dock. So I should technically get unloaded, I think. So we'll see, I gotta go check in and talk to them and hopefully it goes good, so. I think I need to go over there to the receiving door, so I'll be right back. So I stopped like right in the entryway and then, cause I didn't see any activity, so I didn't even think there's any yard jockeys here. But all of a sudden this yard jockey comes flying around the corner. I'm like, oh God. So he told me to get set up, but I didn't know which door. So I set up for the wrong door. So I got to slide it over, but that shouldn't be too bad. Start traveling it in here. I might still be off just a little bit too much. Yeah, I think I am. Let's see, can I see? 
I'm gonna just slide it over to the right just a wee bit here. I'm gonna prank call Cornell. Tell him that was a waste. Got here on time for no reason. They're not gonna unload it, I'm late. <laughs> Even though that's not true. <laughs> just to give him shit, cause that was kind of a stupid load. I think that's pretty straight. I gotta chalk my wheels. Hopefully they don't take too long, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I do need to get a 30 minute break. Perfect. All right guys, we're just down the road from the truck stop we stop at for home time. So once you're seeing this, that means I finally got caught up on uh, videos, so. Um, I plan on editing a couple while I'm on home time and it should catch me up. So uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe for future content. I'll see you guys when I get back from home time. Peace! Come on, everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.